Hello and welcome everybody to a comparison, a first impressions, a first impression comparison of two chips that I purchased with my own money from Apache Poker Chips. These are sample sets, apachepokerchips.com. Go check them out if you want. I'll try to put a link in the description below. Special thanks to Poker Chip Forum. Tommy, thank you for sending this tabletop, which I use for my reviews. I really appreciate it. They are a supporter of the channel on Patreon, as well as my other patrons. I'm going to be sure to include them at the end as well. But before we dive too far into that, let's play a quick hand with these chips to kind of see how they look when they're in a pot scenario. Just kind of a messy pot there. Obviously not realistic with the denominations. Dear, dear reviewer, your pot is not realistic with the denominate. Thank you. Yes, I agree. I concur. Do you concur? I concur. What's that from? Uh, Leonardo Di Cappuccino movie. Uh, uh, not uh, Sleepless in Seattle. Leonardo Di Cap uh, Somewhere in Time. Nope, that was... Uh, come on, what was it? Of no place to... Uh, let's see. Inception. Nope, what was it? Not Titanic. It's the one where he pretends to be an airline pilot. Catch me if you can. That's what it is. I don't even remember what I just said. Either way, if you'd like to join us at home, deal yourself two cards. Let us know what you have in the comments below. Obviously, this isn't, we're not playing for anything. Welcome to YouTube, in case you didn't know where you're at. And no, no betting cycles. Come on, we're just playing online. We're going to plow through this as quick as we can. Yeah, Jax, I have her beat. Jane Doe, I run so bad against her, but this time I can tell you right now, she can't beat my quad jacks. Yeah, I didn't even look at my card, seven, eight. <laughs> Who goes in with seven, eight? Again, there's no betting. Oh, she has an AC. Are you kidding me? Why do I run so bad against her? She always just barely beats me. Oh, you have, you know, eight high? Well, I have ace high. Thanks a lot, Janie. All right, that's it. Why do I even do this? I don't even know why I put myself through that. It's like, hey, do you want to see me lose to an imaginary person? All right, so what we're looking at here are ceramics. These are made by Sunfly, available through Apache Poker, which is great. Sunfly have changed their uh, policies, kind of, or their business model, where now you get free shipping over a certain amount, a certain dollar amount orders. I get it, they're shipping from Asia. But Apache Poker Chips just lets you buy them here in the United States. Very convenient, so quick shipping. I've always had great luck with Apache poker chips. That's just my experience being a genuine customer buying poker chips from them. So let's uh, start with the empire here. And what you're looking at here are what they call a two card mold. And while we're on the subject of the mold, I wanna show you a couple of things. Number one, notice how the card mold looks a little faded. I'm not sure if that's showing up on camera, but the color in those aren't always as vivid as the surrounding area. That's because they use a dye sublimation process. Imagine like an iron on, an iron on, all right? Obviously vapors can travel down and stain the blank, but obviously this blank was stamped before the color was added, all right? And you can see that with the simple, you know, the faded red in the molds. Does that bother me? No, I'm not looking for perfection, okay? With a Paulson chip, they're not perfect. They have, you know, the, compression molding marks, all right? So even a Paulson won't be perfect, but this has its own character. And so to me, I like that character because it makes it different than all the other ceramics. All right, here, let's use my, I'm just gonna grab, so these are BR Pro Poker. And I chose this red, I could match this red if I wanted to, but I liked this, you know, slightly darker red. And you can see this is flat. So I don't have, you know, you know that same character as a two card mold from Sunfly. Okay, so some things to discuss. The edge spots look pretty well. I mean, they're mimicking the compression molding, which is fine, and they're very well aligned. It takes me a long time to find one that's not perfectly aligned, because there's always that part of me like, are, are these molded with the edge? No, they're not. But you do have progressing edge spots in the Empire here. Okay, so let's start with the Empire. 10, 100, you know, 50 cent. You have fractionals. I like the two color fractionals. Five thousand twenty-five dollar five hundred twenty-five cent fractions. Beautiful. So I love. So you can see the edge spot progression, the color progression. Very lovely. The ones that I am expecting to be a certain color are that color. 
we have the black 100, the white one, you know, 25 green, beautiful, okay? And the fractions are awesome. So I think this is a really legitimate home cash set. I really like the Empire set here. Uh, the looks, okay? So there you go, quick look at the sample set. And if you have questions about how they feel um, or sound, they have kind of a bright sound. They shuffle just fine. And again, the mold, we're not gonna spend too much time. It's the same mold for the Taj Mahal set, just kind of a different theme, all right? So as we go through this, you'll also see some slightly different denominations here and colorway. Colorway is something that they use to talk about shoes. I don't know why I just said that, if that bothers you. Let us know in the comments below, <laughs> how dare you. Colorways, all right, here we go. So again, you see the edge spot progression here. And to me, which one do I prefer? Erg. We'll discuss that here at the end. So let, let me know your thoughts about that. And again, when you look at these edge spots, they are very clean, like the way that they line up from the set that I have here. Occasionally, you can find one that's misaligned. And I like the fake, the faux compression look here. It's just, it's too symmetric to be like really compression, but it looks good. You can see the dimple, maybe you can see the dimple right here. Uh, these are molded and they come off, you know, you need to inject the plastic, they're injection molded so you can see the little dimple where the plastic is injected. Either way, lovely ceramics with some character because they actually have a mold to them. I really like this bright orange thousand Taj Mahal. So let's just talk about real quick some weight and stuff here. Let's run this. Grams, and then we're gonna see. So a casino chip nowadays, you know, they're they're removing lead from casino chips. So now what eight and a half to maybe nine and a half grams is kind of what we're looking at for casino chips. And this is right in that range here. Nine and a half, wonderful weight on sunfly chips. I've never had a complaint with these ceramics. They have a really nice weight to them. Not too heavy, not like a big piece of steel, like a steel slug that are in some of these other ones. Here's a great example of the, can you see the fading here on the blue and red, what I was talking about earlier with the dye sublimation, how it responds to the texture. But yeah, they shuffle well. They have a pretty good texture. I, they feel like ceramics to me. And I know what that feels like. If you've never handled ceramics, you might wanna buy a sample set beforehand. But most people, I think, have a good sense. And as far as spinners go, uh, Sunfly are, are pretty flat. Occasionally, you're gonna find one that kind of spins a little, but not to a point where it's just egregious. So I'm gonna, behind the curtain, when you have a black surface, it, you need to try to keep it clean. I just use a lint roller. How embarrassing, my lint roller's all dirty. I need to clean my lint roller, I need to peel that. Anyway, just trying to keep this clean for you. So. They all weigh nine, what, around nine and a half grams in that range. Let's take measurements here. With most ceramics, I'm expecting 3.3 thickness and 39 millimeter. So we'll do them both just so you can see to be thorough here. 39, let's grab another one. 39.2, yeah, roughly 39 millimeters. And 39. 0.14, 39.15, very, very normal. All right, let's do some thickness measurements here. 3.25 and the Empire, 3.22. Yeah, so same mold with intolerance, I would say. Lovely. All right, so as far as flatness goes, that's something else that we like to discuss. Uh, they are very flat. If you've seen other videos with metal slug ABS chips, they can rock quite a bit. Uh, these aren't perfect. Like I see a tiny little gap right here. So that means one of these out of however many are here, nine, 10 are, is slightly warped. Okay. So not perfect, but very, very good. The consistency seems very reasonable from Sunfly. So I like, I like them both. I'd be happy with both sets. If I had to choose one, now, like right now, I would choose these Taj Mahals, I think. And again, this opinion might change next week or if I, if I read enough comments. But the Taj Mahal looks 
to me really cool. I really like the edge spot progression on it. I like the colors. I like the center, you know, and obviously this isn't a label. So this is, you know, dye sublimation. It's like printed on the chip. That's how I think of it. So it's not going to peel off. So very solid. I really like it. The design, you can see kind of a circle here where the, there is kind of like a, some, when they did that process of making this, it looks like some of it did transfer in a little circle here. Interesting. I also like the faux inlay. There's obviously a faux inlay, but the progression of the inlay shape. So you can see it moves to, what is this, an octagon? One, two, three, a hexagon. So the hexagon, the gear, the saw, kind of this floral pattern, you know, I love the medallion. Look, I, mean, I just love the progression of these. I could totally do some of these. Would I, you know, okay, so for me, something like this would probably be a very effective micro stakes set. I might even do something like this, you know, just to mix things up a little bit. Yeah, that'd be pretty good looking. Yeah, but that also looks good. Either way, I wouldn't think too much about it. I have been around poker chips long enough now on this channel where I'm kind of biased to what exactly I'm looking for. I'm sorry, I'm just studying the interesting character of this mold. The mold, it really makes it interesting. All right, well, that said, Taj Mahal wins, in my opinion. And again, I hope everybody has a different opinion. It's just my opinion. You know what matters more than my opinion? Your opinion. So I'm gonna just kind of spread these out loose here so you can kind of see. Uh, obviously, you can go to their website. I'll probably put a link up to the Apache Poker Chip website. I always try to give credit when I you know, use a screenshot from a website. But yeah, I mean, it. Uh, they all look good. To me, yeah, I just like, I like the inlay style of the Taj Mahal a little bit more and the design just a little bit more. So there, I'm excited to read your comments and please leave a comment in the comments below. And I need to give another shout out to my patrons. I mean, come on, thank you guys so much for your support. It really means a lot to me. If you'd like to join us on Patreon, it's just general support. So occasionally I post a behind the scene picture or update as to what's going on with my golf or poker chip channel. So again, it's just to support the channel. I really appreciate it. Another way you can support is by visiting my Amazon shop. I have a link in the description below. The uh, fingernail clippers are a popular one. I like some premium fingernail clippers myself. So you might want to check those out in my Amazon shop. I have a few poker related things as well. Usually the less expensive, lower quality metal ABS, ABS metal slugged chips. Thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoy this content, please consider subscribing. My name is John Hobby.